All right, guys, we got a really fun video for you today. It's Monday, so we got a mystery box. We got a big one and a new one. I think it's the first to the channel. And um, we couldn't figure out what else to do, so we're going to open random uh, eBay purchases. So we got three random eBay uh, purchases there, and we don't know what's inside. So what's stay it? tuned. What's in the box? Let's do it. Welcome back, gainers, to another crazy, exciting, fulfilling episode of... Comic Geek! Yeah! And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Aurora Highness doing that princess wave, holding the cocoa, so bow down and respect. Hello. Dance, Coco, dance! I like it. So, uh, now, like we said, today is Monday, guys, so uh, we got a new mystery box to the channel. I don't think uh, this mystery box is from Anti Hero. I don't think we've ever opened a mystery box from Anti Hero, so this is a first, and it's a big boy. 200. $260 themed Jeez. mystery box. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Moon Knight themed mystery box. A princess picked this out to rub the Moon Knight goodness in my face because you guys all know I love Moon Knight. Um, and uh, we have three random so we're like, hey, what else are we going to open? So there's a big stack of boxes that have Zach's name on it and there's three of them here and he doesn't know what's in them so we're going to open these up. And see what the gains are. And if you stay tuned to the very end, what else do we have, Zach? We got flexing. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of flexing. So, as you guys know, if you uh, get any great gains or great deals or hot books, uh, send them over. Not the books. Send your pictures over you our way. If you want. can send the books you want to. Send the pictures over. We'll be happy to share with the, with you guys what the community is looking for. Spin over. Yeah, or what they're specking on. There's some good stuff to be specking on. But before we get into any of that, um, Zach is going to try something he's never done before. Oh, yeah. I've never opened up this beer, though. Yeah, but I've opened up a lot of beers. This is actually a cider. It's an inclined cider company, probably crafted from 100% fresh pressed apples. Unlike other companies, what do they press, guys? Who knows? <laughs> this one 100% pressed? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. Is it like a lemonade iced tea? Yeah, yeah. It's lemonade. literally an Arnie Palmer ripoff. And a 6.9. Nice. Uh, 69. Nice. And as you guys know, someone in this can is a point two, and point two is the best part. You know what happens after you drink an incline? You outcline. You get into a decline. Decline. <laughs> oh. Arnold Par Palmer is better. Is it? Yeah. This almost has like a little too uh, citrusy or a... Uh, Acidy kind well, of they probably got to get the. They probably can't get the exact same mixture because it's probably trademarked. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's a 50-50 lemonade iced tea. The other one, this one's got to go 40-60. Let's get into the mystery. Box. Okay, all right, guys, let's get back to comic. All right, so we got a mystery box for you guys. Uh, this is the princess. She picked this up from Anti Hero. Uh, really great friend of the show. He does do uh, a whatnot show, so you want to check him out, follow him on whatnot. But we we're trying to figure out how to link that down below. But we can link down his Instagram. So you can follow him on Instagram and see when he got these great games games come up available for grabs. So, uh, like I said, uh, Princess was able to get on there and he did like six boxes. All of them were themed. All of them were different prices. So I'm not really sure what the other themes were or the prices on them. But this one was Moon Knight and it was $260. And Princess snatched it up and we're going to see it. Pretty smart to get a Moon Knight this close to when the show is coming out. So yeah. good job, Princess. Who knows what we could get for $260. Oh. Huh. I can't see that. Okay. What the heck is going on? Yeah, yeah, it's like this is Avery, right? Our good friend Avery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got the name right. Avery. Yeah. Comments all the time. Good guy. Good guy. Okay. And, uh, you yeah, know, if you guys can tell me, uh, I don't know how to link the whatnot link, so, uh, if you can tell me how to do that, what I'll make sure to link it down below. And, uh, well, yeah. I don't know how to do it. I tried to go on, go on to the website, didn't work. Maybe I need to download the app on the computer and then... Can you do it on a computer too? Maybe. Yes? I don't know. I don't know. Princess will have to look into it. She's more computer savvy than me. Pooter savvy? Pooter savvy. Wait, oh, what? oh, oh. That's, That's funny. Right. So it has a, a title on it where it says full moon. <laughs> She's got moon. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, what another another week or two? We're gonna have the the box battle, right? Is it next week or the week after? <laughs> what you wrote down the date? Well, I guess we're not by the calendar, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, yes. Uh, okay, so I'll just show you guys the, the package. So it's done really nicely. So it says full moon on there, and then it's got nicely sealed anti-hero comics. So great packaging. 
I remember because I think the last one we got from a really good packaging. Yeah, the box that was coming. Ooh, yeah, I like that. They didn't use the, this, but use the sticker. Smart. Mm. Okay, I think. I don't know if there's. A, I don't, no, I don't think there's a slab in here, but there's like two boxes. So let me see. Okay. Ooh, a bonus book. Princess, I can't thank you enough for all the love and support you've shown me over the last few months. I know we haven't talked very for very long, but in the short amount of time, I know I've gained a great friend, and you and the gainers have another. He can't read. He's having. He has the troubles. Let me see the troubles. Oh, package. Oh, yeah. Okay, package coming your way. Happy birthday and congrats on the big channel milestone. A bonus book for being awesome. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Ante. I don't know why I couldn't read that. Okay. It was almost cursive like, so I could. I, I felt. I'm good at cursive. Felt, I'm bad. I'm really bad at cursive. Thanks. Well, actually, I can write cursive, but then I can't read it. You can't read your own writing. It's like, what is this? Though. Uh, it looks really nice Ooh. if you're good at cursing. I want the bonus book. So this was not, the bonus book was not part of the mystery box. It's uh, in a mile Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. You're not messing around. It says one of 11 of 20 on the back too, so I don't know if that means anything. Uh, you know, probably bought a 11 of 20. Hmm? Probably bought a 11 of 20. Oh, signed. Oh, that's a good one. It's actually you already looked at it. Oh, so that's good. It takes now. Oh, so you got a Moon Knight number 21, oh. uh, and it's signed by, it's um, by Bill, Bill Sinkovich and uh, Shooter. Oh, Jim Shooter? Mm hmm. Okay. Wow. That's a cool book. That's very nice. It's in good shape, too. Nice. Jim I love the, the Bill Sinkovich covers. Jim Shooter. You guys have to let me know if we're saying the name right. There's, like, there's so many different ways to say that name. Sinkovich? Yeah, that's, that's where right. Bill Sinkovich. Sinkovich? Yeah. Sinkovich? Okay. Sinkovich. Good start. Okay, good start. Woo! Very nice. 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 Okay. We're getting into it. And he kept with the theme of Moon Knight. That's pretty cool. I mean, he must have a lot of Moon Knight stuff because he's... Yeah. I think he's oh. like a little moon. Okay, I don't know. There's another thing in here. It's probably that they could... Okay. Or a magazine. It could be a magazine. It's bigger. I, oh, oh I, there I is. It was like, what Moon Knight magazine is But there is a really nice Moon Knight magazine. It's Marvel uh, Premiere, right? No, no, it should be Marvel Graphic Novel. Is it? Oh, start here. So we'll save at the end. I Let's think not I skip have... ahead. Let's not skip ahead. I think I have it. Okay. I might have it. I don't okay. Know. What do you have? I thought I had, like, the Marvel Graphic Novel of um, Moon Knight. I think it was, like, damaged a little bit, though. I can't remember. I'll nice. have to look through. Good. We'll check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. All right, let's go here. Uh, he's got him like going. It's gonna be able to see everything. Let me flip this over. Uh, I'm gonna see the price on. Okay, we'll go with this. Zach will look ahead. Okay. So we got Moon Knight number one. This is the mini series. I think, if I remember correctly, I think this is like the third mini series, but cool book. So you got Moon Knight number one. And the night is no longer safe from evil. And he's got eight dollar price in there. That, that seems pretty accurate. Yeah, I'd say so. One of the mini series, the mini series, the mini me, mini mini Moon Knight series. Mini Moon Knight series. Okay, next up we've got uh, Moon Knight number sixteen. This is from the Secret Invasion series, or Secret Invasion, yeah, run part of that. So last sold seven dollars. I think that's from the, what, the second to last run, right? Something like that? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know enough about Moon Knight. I like Moon Knight. I only have a couple books from that run. I don't have anything. I only have from the first two original ones. Okay. Moon Knight, number 17. Are we going in order here? Last sold, $8. This is good. This is kind of like homage to uh, one of the older covers. You yeah, know, where it's yeah. got like the two black lines and the yeah. picture in the middle between them. I think it's issue 24. Uh, no. It's There's like, a couple that are like that, I think. Yeah, if I know what yeah. you're talking about. Mm -hmm. 18? They, is it 18? They homage the, that one for the Sun King, too. Yeah. Moon Knight, number 18. Are these all in order? I could read these, Princess. Last sold, $10. I bet you a lot of these have a low print run, too. Because mm -hmm. at that time, I don't think a lot of people were Where pumped on Moon Knight at the time. Back in the day. They weren't respecting his pimp hand. Mm -hmm. His Moon Knight pimp hand. Moon Knight... 
Number 20, last sold $18. Oh, he has got a little bit thing on this. Reprints, first appearance. Oh, it has a reprint of Werewolf by Night 32. Oh, cool. First appearance of Moon Knight. Cool. Respect my pop collar. I'm going to slap the pers first person I see. Wait, I, I got all mixed up. I got two skits mixed up. <laughs> okay. Moon Knight, uh, Acts of Evil, number one. Uh, this is the annual. And I don't know if all the other ones, I don't think the other ones have, but this is Multiverse Moon Knight appearance. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, and he's got a $30 price tag. Like anything with Kang on the cover is, is a good idea. So you got Moon Knight fighting Kang. Can't go wrong with that. There's something There's something going on with that. That's an homage. Is it? It's homage of another book. I can't remember what book a it is. A homage? I, oh, homage. Homage. Homage? Hummus? <laughs> Dude, I, this, oh, that's a good book. Okay, these are both, this is, these are like the two best books in all of, uh, of the second Moon Knight Mark Spector run. So you got, that's going to be a good way to finish it off. So Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number 55. And then, yeah, this is first Stephen Platt cover when he took over the run. Um, $95 price on that as, as a fire book. I did not know that book. It's straight up artwork cover. Like, just straight good because of the artwork. Mm. Mm-hmm. Never heard of Platt either. Mm-hmm. Fire book. I yeah. think it's, like, the second best book in the, the Mark Spector run book. And the best book right here is, uh, you got Moon Knight number 57, homage to, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300. Is that McFarlane? No, it's a Stephen Platt, too. It's Platt, too? Yeah. Uh, 135. I would say it's even going higher than that now. Yeah. That's a... A moderate price on that. I think it's. I think it's even much higher. That book's like going through the moon. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, yeah. If if I'm not the only person that didn't recognize those books, you know, that's this probably for your benefit. Now you keep an eye out. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I've been looking at those. <laughs> Both of those books. I'm like every time I'm looking through Moon Knight piles of Moon, I'm like, oh, I'm hoping I'm gonna find either one of those. Prince has got them now. Oh, there's. I think there's two. Ooh. Oh. 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 I don't, this is interesting. Was I right? No. As usual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Amazing Heroes. Oh, Ooh. Amazing Heroes. Yeah. So, it's um, a magazine. Yeah, so there's a two. Oh, there's two in here. Yeah. Is there? Oh, there is two. Is it? Or are they just together? I don't know. Okay, so I think they're in the same. No, it's just one with a bunch of backing boards. Oh. To keep it tight. So. This is a magazine. You got Amazing Heroes number six, and it looks like like a future peak at Moon Knight before he came out, and uh, last sold thirty five dollars. In really good shape too for this white border cover. What issue was it? Uh, number six. Oh. I'm wondering if it's Neil Adams on the cover, but I don't think so. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. It says Neil Adams, but I don't think it's Neil Adams for that cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Yeah, it's a fantastic cover. I mean, Isn't Amazing Heroes like made by like Mirage or something? Uh, Fantagraphics. Fantagraphics, that's right. Okay. Okay, number six. Yeah, it's just classic Bill Sinkovich. Oh, Sinkovich. Okay. I was say, yeah, it doesn't say preview, but yeah, 1981. So that's a year after the, the first Moon, one. Moon, Moon Knight series came out. Oh, okay. So yeah. preview of, or, or kind of like showing off his yeah. current run, the current run. Yeah, by, by cool. Moon Knight. Cool, dude. Uh, so anti hero, fantastic box. Yeah, I, I mean, you can ask those are literally the two best, like as far as I know, the two best books in the Mark Spector Moon Knight run. So yeah. you can't go wrong Respect with either it. of those. Yeah. Hmm. Very, very good box. So everyone, check out Anti Hero. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on whatnot. A good friend of the show. And get those games from him. Okay. Next up, got Random Time. Random? Yeah. 59.51. I can't remember which one's which. Okay. I think these are okay. We'll, we'll see. Random Time, guys. So we got three random boxes to open. They all got. Zach's name on them, but they could, um, when we get our eBay buys, they all go to Zach, I think, usually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So most of them are prime mine, they because they've be. been here for a while. Have they? Except for a while. Think they're all eBay? Whoa, what the heck? Is eBay or... Is that like a stopper? <laughs> it's like a stopper. I mean, at least they send it in a box. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, there's some, maybe there's some artwork. This is a nice there. little container. And it's not very sturdy, but it's better than a manila envelope. They send you like a puke bag? So like after you look at your book, you just you guys you guys recently know we haven't had the best of luck with eBay, so let's let's yeah. test our luck. Okay. 
No, this is one of my books. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool, okay, this is a cool book. I forgot uh, I bought this. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's a nice shape for an annual. So we got um, King Size Annual Masters of Kung Fu number one. I thought this was a good idea to buy. It's not. It's good shape. This is a uh, first time Shang Chi meets Iron Fist. So cool book though. I like the cover on that a lot. I'm just something I kind of like came across and decided it's a good idea to spec on that book. As long as they recast Iron Fist, preferably. Well, they could use uh, Swordmaster now. Or sword, sword Yeah, master. Swordmaster, but it'd be a good idea. I think that hopefully you know that happens, but I thought it was a cool book. I think we got that for a decent price, pretty uh, pretty reasonable. Okay, so we got this one. One, I got two more open, two randoms. Random, random, random. Yeah, yeah, I like random stuff. Mm hmm. Except when it doesn't like you open a box and you know some punches you right in the face, <laughs> you know, like ah no, or uh, puts a dog on your face while you're passed Ooh, out. Okay. So we're not taped in here, but let me see. Oh, whoa, well, oh yeah, I forgot we bought this, eh? Uh, I thought that? you explained that one, that's a good book. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, so that's, I believe, a Venom number three or five. And three, right, isn't it? I think it's three. It's the unknown. It's like, it's a multi, it's a, like the third or fourth printing. Yeah, it's like we were talking, yeah. we were talking with all the books we got from that Spider-Man booth uh, back in the day, and all the, all those Venom books you got, we were like, how come we never saw a Venom number three unknown in a version? So first appearance and all. And oh wait, it's not, it's not? It's number no. three. It's Venom yeah, three. Yeah, it's not a second or third print. Now I remember. Yeah, so no, it's not. We were, we asked ourselves like, how can we never saw one? Is there an unknown version for there Venom is. three? And so we looked it up, and there is. And so we were like, hey, let's just buy this online. I think we got it for like fifty bucks or forty bucks or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, reasonable. So I mean, there is one, and I, yeah. So it's, we thought it was cool. So it is Venom number three, Virgin first appearance in all, and it's got uh, Miles on the cover too, yeah, which is pretty which cool. Is kind yeah. of strange because he's not in the book. No, I don't think He's so. not in the book. Yeah, but cool. And we were like, hey, you know, let's go for it. You know? The thing is hard with those unknown books is like Zach and I have been saying, you just can't trust the print run. No, who, I just don't know how many. I, they, it might still be printing them. Yeah, who knows? Like when we were at Comic-Con and we went to the unknown booth, there they were had so everything. many books. They still had yeah. everything. There were like hundreds of every book there. Yeah. You have to like hopefully believe that if they have a print run that's, say it's printed in 2000, you have to hope that they're honest about it. Yeah. And you'll be able to know if they like always a hundred on eBay, then the print run was not honest or it was just a crappy book and everybody's trying to get rid of it. Yeah. But probably more than a thousand. That's how I that's how I see it. See the negative. Mm -hmm. And if it actually is a positive, then yeah, it's better. Yeah, right? Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. That makes total sense. Right, right. You know, they, like with that regard, sick a little negative. So when you're like proven wrong and it's actually a positive, then okay, you're like, you're happy. Or if you're thinking you're right and then you're proven wrong, then you're happy. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's see another book. So um, as you guys know, we did that um, Into the Spider Verse top books to get, and one of the books we did not have was the Venom uh, or Amazing Spider Man Thirty. I'm holding the book. Amazing Spider-Man 30 first appearance in Morlun, so uh, Zach and I kind of made the thing like, let's go out and get it. And uh, this isn't bad. It's hard to find one with like under 50. Definitely has like some, looks like some pressable defects, but J. Scott Campbell cover, first appearance in Morlun, um, definitely a good spec character to get. It's hard to find this book for under 50, and I think we grabbed that one for like 40, right? Something like that. I, actually, I think we got it for 20. I don't think it was that low. It was pretty cheap. But... It's hard, you know, dev, yeah, it's hard to find one for under 50 and you feel like you want to do that. In case it's a bust yeah. and he doesn't show up, but... Uh, 27.05. Serious? Yeah? Oh, I must have done a good job. Yeah, I got a good one. But, uh, cool bug. Excited to add that to the collection to spec on that. So, uh, that's going to be the random gains. Drunk, a few couples drunk abides. I think I was drunk at least two of those. At least. Yeah, at least two of them. So definitely the Venom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely the Venom. I remember having that conversation with him. I was like, how come we never see an unknown uh, Venom 3? And he's like, we're going to find one. I'll tell you what, brother. And we found it. I yeah. told you, brother. All right. So now we're up for some flexing. Flexing. All right, we got George Tucker on deck. Yeah, George oh. Tucker. We got Spawn 327. It's kind of homage. I think that's Haunt. I think yeah, that's Haunt, a yeah. Haunt. And that's homaging, of course, the Spider-Man number one. Yeah, from the Big Farland, Zach favorite. Very nice. I don't know how limited it is, but yeah. I think just cover A. Uh, no, cover B. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cover B. I think something like and that. This is one of the Amazon's books. I don't Ooh. know what issue it is, but it looks like a rose beach. Yeah. That's like the meetup of all the different uh, um, Wonder Woman characters, I think, all together. Ah. Mm -hmm. And is that the really expensive one now? The Captain Carter? I don't Carter? know if it went up yet. Princess got a copy of that. Captain Carter. First appearance of Captain Carter in continuity. One of them is going up. And... Uh, Oh, maybe I'm not sure if I showed this, but yeah, he he saw the oh. video where we're talking about that female ghost rider, mm -hmm. and uh, he actually found one. Nice. He actually found one. That's like a forty fifty dollar book. Yeah, yeah, it's a great. That was I, Princess's I, spec of the year. Yeah, so. I have a two somewhere. Did you? Like, Did you got one? I have to find it. Okay. Yeah. Is it on the garage? No, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. All right, guys. So I hope you guys had a good time with us opening random games. Checking out, like, awesome anti-hero mystery box. Some Moon Knight goodness. Y'all loving that Moon Knight. So uh, if you like the show, love the show, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the games today. And, uh, yeah, Zach, you got anything? Uh, yeah, you yeah, got sure. How you do that is you have to be a pitcher running around, busting through walls, spilling red you know, red juice all over your carpet <laughs> and you have to somehow get it out and that's how you become the Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Or <laughs> like, <laughs> someone's going to come up and drink you. And then you think anyone's done dead. that? Yeah. I think they did that on Family Guy. They drank him? Like, ah, ah, oh, oh, dead. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was really good. All right, guys, until we see you next time, stay safe, remember. Get those Kool-Aid games. Get up. But Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Comic games. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs>